Taking a live look outside from the Mission Ridge camera, it is a storm alert weather day. May not look like it now, but let's get to meteorologist Allison Pryor, who is in as Cedric continues to recover, to tell us more about what we're expecting and when we can expect it. Allison. Uh, yeah, Latrice, we're going to break it down with our weather headlines because you do still have a few more hours that you can enjoy the quiet weather this afternoon. So for the afternoon, here's what we're expecting. Warm temperatures, that high humidity, you certainly can feel it when you step outside, and just the chance for a couple of isolated storms to pop up this afternoon. The coverage this afternoon, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, is not going to be as great as what we saw yesterday afternoon. But then you need to be weather aware for late afternoon through the evening into nighttime hours. That's when we have to watch out for that severe potential. Key timing right now looks to be from about 5 p.m. until 11 p.m. So thankfully dwindling down for the overnight hours, but certainly this evening something to watch out for. Now that severe threat is due to a low pressure system and cold front, which means we then will have cooler conditions. And I put it in quotes. It'll still be around about 80 degrees tomorrow, but a couple of isolated storms possible for our southern communities on Wednesday, but at least we're not talking about quite as widespread of coverage. So here's a check of our cloud cover map right now. Again, conditions really still pretty quiet across the Tennessee Valley and uh, all that morning time fog has mixed out. We have some of those fair weather clouds, blue sky and sunshine mixed together. So it's a nice kind of lunch break right now, but here's our culprit system that's going to brew those storms later on for today. You can already see rain on the north side of that. In fact, the National Weather Service has just issued that over the next couple of hours, there's probably about an 80% chance they're going to have to issue a severe thunderstorm watch for Kentucky and areas in Tennessee just to the north of us. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that and let you know, but over the next few hours, storms will start to fire up along that low along the cold front. That's what's going to bring us that severe potential. So when we look at the severe outlook for today, biggest problem is to our north. That's going to be along the Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia line. That's that level three enhanced risk that you're seeing in the orange. Let's zoom in here locally, though. You're going to notice our northern communities. This is Dunlap. This is Cleveland, Athens, Dayton, Pikeville, all the way over to Murphy at that level two slight risk. The rest of the area, the level one out of five marginal risk. Key timing again, 5 to 11 p.m. What are our threats? Well, the main threat will be damaging wind gusts at 60 miles per hour. After that, quarter size hail and then the lowest threat is an isolated tornado, but unfortunately it's not zero. So we do make sure you want to pay attention for the evening time hours. So let's time it out with future cast. Here's the mix of sun and clouds for your afternoon. Again, a couple of isolated pop up showers or storms are possible this afternoon, but overall coverage certainly less during the afternoon hours than what we saw yesterday. But notice after 5 p.m. We have this broken line of storms that starts to move into our area with that torrential rainfall, the potential of those embedded thunderstorms. Again, damaging winds and hail being the two primary factors that we're worried about. This is going to continue until about 11 p.m. Once we get past 11 p.m., there will still be a little bit of activity, but I think that severe threat will no longer exist. And then during the overnight hours, really kind of quieting down, leading us to a Wednesday that'll be a little bit cooler. And again, few isolated showers during the day on Wednesday for our southern communities. So total rainfall for tonight's event. You can see kind of a, once again that hit or miss kind of splotchy nature of what I'm calling it. Most it'll be a trace to a half inch, but we can see a few individual pockets with those heavier storms about an inch of rainfall possible. We had a couple locations that picked that up yesterday. That could happen again for this evening. Temperatures right now are warm in the 70s. Afternoon highs today are also going to be warm in the low to mid 80s, 87 degrees for Chattanooga and Dalton, 86 in Cleveland with wind from the southwest. Again, storm alert weather day mode, not so much for the afternoon, but yes, for the evening time. That's when we want you to watch out for Latrice. Thank you, Allison.